Well, there we go. Only time will tell in the challenge to get back what I have so dearly lost. My honour, my respect, more importantly, my elo points. So, okay, so what we're going to do, we're back to playing some crazy blitz again, as you might have noticed. And I'm going to do what I normally do, have some fun, try to claw my way back. I have got over 2400 again, but I'm so far away from the 2600 mark. So what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to keep playing until I lose two games. So you should be able to tell if it's a long video, I'm pretty doing damn well. If this video is only five minutes long, Bolox. Bolox is what is the only word I can say. Um, I'm going to, after this game, talk you through a little bit what I'm thinking. Uh, the reason I'm still playing three minute chess is because it's very hard to get a game at five minute, but we will come on to that in another video but not now and it takes longer to get the rating points back when you're playing five minutes i can get them back in 10 minutes half an hour maybe at this rate so the aim is indeed to get back to 2600 is it possible have i lost my touch or have i just been going through some hard times um i think i'll get back i think i will um what we've got here is my normal duchy defence, which I know pretty darn well by now. And I'm always happy in this opening when my opponent meets e5, this move here, with the move d5. Um, for some reason, I quite like this. I actually have to be careful of some tactics there, but my opponent thankfully hasn't gone for that. Um, now, what can I do? Well, he, he probably wants to push on here when I have a couple of ways to attack. Now, I could take this one and try to probe his king side. Now, I had a very similar game, if you guys are watching, in the title Tuesday event. I had a nearly identical position to this where I, I started to attack g3 by first taking here, and it gave me quite a nice initiative. I always like these kind of positions because... I mean, what the bloody hell is that? Really? Really? As John McEnroe would say, you cannot be serious. Don't think he'd probably say it like that, but, you know, um, you know, got to, got to say something. Um, probably actually a bloody good move. Um, okay, well, here's a way to defend that. I am getting short of time because I'm wabbling on, like, speaking my normal nonsense. Okay, well, because his king is potentially wandering into the middle. I want to open up a second field of attack. Hence why I am now, not sure if I'm, this is right. I don't know if his queen will come sneaking in here. This is why I, I've played this move c6, because I want to try, he has sneaked his queen in, okay. Now, I could now move this rook in potentially. Um, I kind of feel I should be quite happy here let's let's i kind of want to move the other rook but if he takes on b6 i want to def keep defending my bishop on a6 and a very simple plan here putting my rook on c2 and trying not to lose on time okay well let's get the rook in there this should this is why i put this rook here this should surely net me a piece here um unless he goes bishop here but then now now for the coup d Gra, where are you, Coup de Gra? Where are you? I can't see you. I just assumed there'd be a good move here. Oh, God, why am I so slow? What's wrong with you, man? Okay, I can't see it. Can't see the Coup de Gra. Okay, I've got another plan, and it's rerouting my pieces. Now, his king is on a dart square, so I found quite a clever plan here, putting my bishop on b6 lining up against his king and this seems to be a very strong idea but i've got to move quick i've got a simple plan bishop b6 and even his queen how does he save his queen is this is one of those ridiculous positions where his queen cannot be saved can you see any way you can save it get in there son and i think his queen is still lost here what a bizarre position because he has no squares he can move his look at my bishops they are raking they are shooting across the chessboard like, I don't know, 
Laser guns. Well, that was more like it. Okay, good stuff. He doesn't want to play again because he's a bloody bad loser and he's had enough punishment for a day. So, well, I don't want to play you either. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, right, so the first game done. And I'm going to go with Trompovsky. It's quite a fun opening. Oh, the Raptor. Rawr! One of my favourites. Do you like the way I say favourites? I do. Favourite, favourite openings of all time. Now, if you see my games, you will see that I often do this pawn sacrifice here. I don't give a damn about pawns. Who cares about the little guys? We want to checkmate. Sod the little guys. Well, I, I often do care about the little guys a lot in life. But um, I'm... Okay, does he want to really put... Does he really want to put his knight here and, and do some weird stuff like that? Really? Is he really going to do that? I don't believe it. Have another pawn. Go on, fill your bloody boots. I don't like them. Pawns just get in the way of my pieces. They're just really a hindrance. I don't like pawns. Have another one. Have it. Have it. Have another pawn. It's just the hindrance. Okay. Um, I've actually had this kind of stuff before quite often. This this random position. Now the idea was if he took on d6, his f7 square would have been very weak. I had queen f3 striking against this pawn. And now I would love to get my knight flying in there. I could go f4 and just try to play against his bishop as well. There's a lot of tempting moves here. I mean, what about I go for, I got rook here as well. I mean, that looks like a sexy little move. Uh, can you do sexy little moves in chess? I reckon you can. Okay, I'm, I'm going to actually, even though I'm two pawns down, play this a little bit positionally, you know. I mean, uh, why not? G4. I mean, this, this is actually quite a good position because he's really, like, suffocating here. He can't move the B pawn. Maybe he's going to go B6 and go here if I go G4 and take there. Am I really concerned? I mean, I don't even need to do that. I could just try to stop him moving this pawn. Um, getting to oh uh, no, but let, let, let's just kill him. Let's just get it on. Let's get it over with. Over with, boys. So I mean, look at my pawns. They they completely suffocate his bishop on f8. Um, he can't get that piece in the game. Now I wasn't worried about this because I thought his queen would get in some serious trouble, which I believe it should do with rook here. Maybe rook b3. Which one? The problem in this position is I've got too many damn good moves here. Well, I think this one looks like a sexy little try to me. God, I'm getting sexy little moves in, aren't I, today? And if queen d4, knight e2. Goodbye, queen. It's the queen catching session. I feel like the guy out of, uh, what was that film? Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Lovely film, that one. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. What's it? The kid catcher. But instead of catching kids, I'm catching queens. Okay, right, so, um, well, let's take that one and just try to get to his king, checkmate him, and move on to the next game, shall we? Seems like a damn good plan to me. Okay, so, well, I mean, again, the problem I have with this position is I've got too many good moves here. Um, he's kind of suffocated, that's what I've been trying to do with this opening. My idea is to swing the queen out here. He can take this one if that's so happens so let's uh play c3 first just kick that knight away if he goes knight here i can take the knight off i'm not really concerned and now it must be time to come in for the final countdown oh look at this can he go any further backwards in life oh i like i've enjoyed myself too much here <laughs> i really am this is this is like I mean, oh god, I've got so, oh night night coming in there. Oh, 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 oh. <coughs> am I from Harry met Sally moment there? The eagle is landing on f6, and that's not just a check, that is a big checkmate. Oh my words, I'm, I'm having fun today. Oh, look at this. Ah, oh, ah, oh, oh, oh no, I'm gonna take on g6. Oh, my words. I'm going to go queen takes g6 and knight f6. Did you see what I did there? Did you see what I did? I'm going to take on g6 and go knight f6 checkmate. That's what I meant to do. Instead, because I was getting a little bit too cocky there, I did a mouse slip. 
Um, but you know what? This is still looking pretty damn good. Okay, but I've only got 23 seconds. Yeah, there, there, there is probably a lesson to be learnt there. Do not get too cocky, Mr. Williams. But this is this is more fun. Okay, right, hang on a minute. So let's just take that one quickly. I can't lose on time. Now I have Knight here. To check. I mean, he, he's wriggling. He's wriggling, wriggling, wriggling a little bit. A little bit. Okay, only a little bit though. Look at Harry. Come on, Harry. You are the one and lonely. You can't take that away. Oh, my time. Blimmin' heck, Simon. Why'd you have to make life so darn tricky for you? Okay, come on. I mean, I could have just won this, but, you know, life life would be pretty boring if I just won the easy way, wouldn't it? We've got to, we've got to add a little bit of uh, ginger spice to proceedings. I mean, that was, was quite a funny mouse slip there. I, I actually mouse slip gave my queen away for zero. He's still got queen here if he wants to, if he wants to attempt to play on, but I'm winning there. So, of course, what I meant to do there, the reason I was getting so excited after rook g6, I meant to play queen takes g6 and then go knight here checkmate. But instead, I mouse slipped and still won. Oh, is it going to be one of those days where my uh, luck just comes together? I hope so. Right, two out of two. So we're moving up, moving on up, moving on up. Ba, 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 baby. Okay, right, so... um. This knight e2 is a bit of a sideline against the French. Um, rather than do what my opponent likes doing, this is a little tip for you guys. My opponent wants me to take. He wants me to take that pawn. I don't want to. I don't want to give my opponent what he wants. So instead, I'm going to play. I don't know this system here with a quick f6, and I'm going to try and at least make him unsettled here. I'm really my aim in this position. Can I? Can I even go for some sacrifice here? What about this? Let, let's let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll, shall we, boys? And the aim here is, well, if he takes, I have a queen h4 check. I'm a little bit worried that he has a check here, though. That could uh, put a scupper on my plans. But then knight f7, and this looks very interesting. Pawn takes pawn, queen h4 check, and I pick up the knight. And he's gone for this. I, I, I think this is the best move now. Now I don't. The problem is I don't really want to retreat this knight back because it's quite well placed there. But it's either that or I, I start playing some mental moves with my. Uh, I don't know. This is still a bit interesting because his knight is on pre by my bishop and pawn. This is kind of a typical French defense sacrifice when you give up a piece for two pawns in the center of the board and you you go for some random nonsense like this. So, well. Let's use those pawns, push forwards, um, and get my king castled. And I'm hoping now, bishop d4, queen f6, my pawns are still very dangerous here. So, I mean, bishop d4 is a very annoying move. My bishop stops him castling, and I'm cutting across his position. I'll bring my queen into the play. Um, I always have d4 coming up, and maybe even e5. I mean, he could go queen e5 now. That would be a bit of a stig in the mud. Can I give him a cheeky check? -o? Okay, he's gone. He's gone here. I mean, even if I take queens, I don't think my position is ridiculous. I'd rather not take queens off. I mean, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a little bit annoying, isn't it? I don't really want to allow that because now he wants to put a piece there. I've kind of just helped him out there um, by maneuvering his pieces to some better squares. Can I check and go queen? Can I keep the queens on? Mm, yeah, this is not entirely the way I wanted it to go I have to admit takes bishop here he has bishop here mm, I've, I've fluffed this one up a little bit okay it's not the end of the world I mean my last move queen queen here was a bad move and, and it's all credit to my opponent that that was a good move he played um okay so I really don't want to swap off here now I could go for I need to get my pawns maneuvering see I've helped his queen get to a, a much more sensible square which is, uh, I have to say, very silly of, of me to do. Um, but, okay, I've still got my central pawns. And if he does take here, then he's, I'm going to be hitting f4. And I'm also going to be threatening d4. Now, I took this way so I can get a rook to c8 quickly in some situations. So this might not be so bad. I've got two pawns, but, I mean, my queen f6 move was bad. Okay, well, I, I, think, I think I need to start using using my pawns here. 
and really do not want to swap these off, do I? I don't want to. Can I? Do I have a choice? Um, well, he wants to move his bishops. So, okay, okay, let's go for this one. Bishop g2, I have queen d5. Um, and I'm threatening after queen d5, this pawn and this pawn. He can't get to this one. Oh, he can go knight f2. Yeah, I'm playing this like a cabbage. I really am. I don't know how cabbages play chess, but better than this, I would say. And why do I put my queen here as well? I mean, now knight b2 to this square is awfully annoying so i've really really played this shockingly bad okay um but you know what it might get better still it might i mean yeah i mean i've let his i let his pieces come into the game look at my look at my development over here okay right I, i'm gonna i'm gonna give up some more more juice here because uh, i've got an idea i want to bring i want to bring my pieces to life okay he's going to go queen here i wanted to go e5 then queen here and he's going to try to swap off queens oh bugger my time it's like ridiculous how i forget about my time oh bugger 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 okay well I, i'm gonna lose this one aren't i by the looks of uh yeah i mean this is fuck it fuck it I shouldn't have lost that game that's ridiculous I was all over that game, playing quite well. So that's my first game. I lose one more, and the quest is over. Okay, well I'm not going to lose another game. And um, that was uh, that was just silly on my part. I played played some inaccuracies, and I let my initiative um, dwindle there. So, okay, let's let's go for some weird delayed king's gambit. See if I can keep the violence going by offering a pawn. Quite a weird King's Gambit. He's a pawn on c5. And uh, I'm... Okay, well, I, I think my bishop wants to go to this square anyway. Because I want to aim at this pawn here. It should be his weak point. Now, there's a trick here. If bishop g4... Can't I go knight takes e5? Isn't this a very famous trick? Bishop takes queen. Bishop takes f7. And knight d5, mate. Oh, my words. Has he gone for it? This is a very famous trick here. I mean, you can go queen here check, but I've got to play it anyway. I've got to play this move anyway. I mean, I, I'm not gonna. I'm not. I mean, it's too. It's too sexy to, to not try. And we are trying some sexy stuff today. Bishop takes queen. Bishop takes f7. King e7. Knight d5. Put that in your pipe and have a puff. Um. So, well, this way I'm giving up my rook, but I'm hoping. I'm hoping that in compensation, well, I have bishop here check, and I have knight here check. He goes king here. Oh, God, this is, come on. This is the kind of chess we like. This is the kind of chess I live for. Okay, so here we go. Let, let's uh, let's get the, the king marching, marching merrily as we can. Oh, yes. This is when chess is fun. This is when I'm enjoying myself. It should be mate. Let's calculate this. King here. Pawn takes check. King takes here. Queen f5 check, but then he goes here, and I don't have a bishop move quite yet. Oh, uh, well, that, that is basically just saying I resign. I mean, there's no point in him playing this move and attempting to, to play on. I mean, I'm not going to say it's too disrespectful, but it is really. I mean, uh, you know, it's much more fun if he just played played exactly what I want him to do. Isn't that much more fun when your opponent does that, exactly everything they, you want them to do? Okay, well, let's, let's not flaff this one up. Please, please, please. Well, he's going to go here. Um, I'll put my bishop on b2. It's probably the safest. I've got queen to e5 check, picking up the knight as well. Um, what am I going to have? I'm going to have a queen for a rook. Still an attack going. I mean, we'll, we'll just have a look at how I could have finished this off as well. Uh, it's quite a nice little tactical game, this one, actually. I mean, obviously, he played, he played very badly. It was bishop g4 move. Um, 15 moves there. So let's have a look. That was fun. Bishop g4. Allowing knight takes e5. Now, if he takes the queen, work this out at home. I go bishop takes pawn check and knight d5. Checkmate. So he's gone this way and now he's grabbed the rook here. But the problem is here, his king is extremely weak. So after this check, well, I mean, he, he can go here, but it should be a mate here. We take here check. This is called the legal checkmate, by the way, that one we had. We'll just have a look at that again in a minute. Now, where is, where is the checkmate here? There's, there's got to be a checkmate. I haven't quite worked it out, but 
I, I just assumed. I mean, even D4 check. Even this is, is going to be... Oh, God, this is so much fun. I mean, look at this for yourselves anyway. I mean, this is this is clearly going to be checkmate. There's some things you don't even need to work out. And this is this is a prime example of the legal mate. You know, knight takes here. Let's just show that in case you got lost there. If bishop takes here, we have check and checkmate. And it's just a very famous opening trick there. It's something that really, you know, an NM should know like the back of his hand. Um, okay, well, I only he, he's gone. I, I was quite happy to play a rematch against him there. But let's see who else we've got. We've got the animal. <clears throat> Sometimes I feel I know your pain. Let, let's stick with the tromp. The tromp worked well in the first game. And this line, I mean, I, I have to be honest. When it comes to the Trompowski, I really, I really don't know much theory. I'm kind of making things up as I go along, um, and it's quite fun doing that in Blitz. I don't recommend you do that in real games, of course, but in Blitz it's fun because you know it's, it's, you can spend all your life looking at sort of opening things, can't you, and get really bored of it. Of course, you know if you if you buy one of my DVDs, then you know I, I would say that's 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 okay. I better better just throw that one in there. Um, but, you know, sometimes it's nice just to play, not to analyse, just to play. Okay, he wants to put his bishop here um, and attack this pawn. Now, I don't really want to give up this bishop for this knight for some reason. I, I don't necessarily want to do that. I don't, I don't like that. So I, I think I'd be more happy giving up this pawn, in actual fact. So I'm going to give up this pawn up, try to castle queenside. And see how this goes. I mean, he can win this pawn a number of ways. G4, Queen C7. So he's not going for that. Okay, well, if he's not going to take the pawn, I will just keep playing natural moves. Take here, Knight D6, take his bishop off. And now I could take the bishop immediately. He's going to try castling this way, isn't he? He doesn't want to get involved with any fun and games here. But you know what? I do. I do want to get involved. Okay, let's take that bishop to start with. And I think it's wise that he hasn't castled kingside because that could obviously backfire. Um, and he wants to go this way. And yeah, he, this pawn could be could be weak. Okay, well, that's a very brave move. The kind of move I like seeing, I have to say. I mean, I don't mind that move at all. I'm going to try to play c4. He can have this pawn. It just, just uh, gets in the way of my pieces, maybe. I'm going to, okay, stop c4. That's a good idea from my opponent. And, well, should I line up a sacrifice here? Could I, could I, should I do this? Is this, going to, is this going to do anything? Let's try. I mean, I, I, you know, once, you, once you're going to sack a pawn, you, you can't play passively. You have to play of energy. His king's in the middle. So he's clearly a little bit worried about me sacrificing here. So he's gone backwards. Should I do it anyway? Very tempting to do it anyway. He's going to go king here next. Now, he looks he looks reasonably solid. He's defending well so far. Let's go let's go for this anyway. Let's give it a whirl, shall we? And again, I've got to be careful of my time. This is something that is uh, something that is is seriously working against me at the moment. Um, okay. Number of options here. His king's in the middle. Rook d6. Knight takes here. Knight takes here. Rook takes here. Okay, some quick calculations needed here. Knight takes there. Can't see how it's going to work. I'm going to go here. I don't really want to play this. Rook d6 seemed like a much more natural move than this. This this seems a bit. This seems like it's not. I want to. I've got to get e6 in if I'm going to get my position to work here. I've got to be able to play the move e6. I mean, also now I'm, I'm, I'm lining up knight takes g5. But my main break is certainly e6 at the correct moment. Um, okay, well, this looks very tempting to play this. Let, let's go for this one. Um, I don't know how this is going to work out. But I've got to play something, and I've got to play something quick. Now, okay, well... I'm going all in here. Oh, bollocks. There we go. That's my... Oh, that was just bad. <laughs> well, that, that was pretty poor. And there we go. Ah, oh, dear. I, I thought I was playing right there as well. There were some moments. There were some moments when it was coming back. But again, the quest. I'll play one more 
Just one more. I'm making this as last one. I've lost my two games. Haven't really made any rating points. I mean, there's been some interesting games. I, I, I mean, I'm, I, I just don't like, I don't like losing like a complete idiot to a back ranker. That was that was poor. I have to say, very poor. Okay. Anyway, we're we're, playing, we're making this the last one. Um, I'll try to finish on a high. At least the games have been fun and spicy today. No boring rubbish. And we're finished with a we're finished with a mainline dragon because these are the um, most exciting. Uh, oh, God, what's my opponent saying? Look, he's getting a bit cocky. I might have to give him a beating. If he's going to get cocky, if he's going to get cocky, look at him. Look at him. Look at this. Good game. Thanks. The animal is here. Well, you know what? You know, cockiness, if he's going to start acting, I'll leave that over here somewhere so you can just keep an eye on his cockiness. The animal is here. The animal should have got spanked in that game, animal. You were you were going down. You were going down, animal. Okay, well, um, okay. Well, after that, I might have to just try to destroy this guy or get destroyed. Um, let's see. Let's leave the chat on because I, I never leave the chat. And it's always fun to see what people say, for better or worse. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try to punish the animal now for his rather, I would say, rather rude. Would you say that's rude? That comment. Animal is here. Is that a little bit? Is that a little bit like? I'm the best. Take that. Take that, you stupid GM. You patzer. You bloody idiot. Is that, is that, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being a bit too, uh, maybe I'm being a little bit over the top here. Okay, right. So how do we punish the bloody animal? Okay, so here takes, here takes. Let's, 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 let's not go backwards in life. No one enjoys a retreater, do they? Okay, it's a dragon. Let's go forwards. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, I don't like, I don't like the animals. I don't like his, uh, you know, the animal deserves something nasty to happen to him. Maybe it's gonna happen to me after F5. Um, what is this position? This position is 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 mental, 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 mental is what this position is. And I was worried about that move, wasn't I? Uh, 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 okay, let's start a counter attack, for better or worse. And what is this chaos? E6. At least I've opened up an A file now, which I, I will hope to use to attack at some point. Well, my rook's not really doing much on C8, so let's let's try and get a piece down down here, son. Let's try. I'm going to show you who's a bloody animal. Okay, so he's trying to retreat this way, and he's lining up against my king. Let's get my king out of out that line, shall we? Very messy position and now i'm going to keep coming forwards if i can i have a threat of rook check and knight takes here winning the queen which he has fallen straight into who's the bloody animal now son you call yourself an animal you don't know the meaning of the words you don't know the meaning of the word i will show you animal okay let's just make sure i win this one i don't want to throw this one away now after the animal i want to i want to put this animal in his bloody place okay let's keep going in let's keep playing like the animal we are um well i mean yeah there you go let's see what you're gonna say now eh let's see what you're gonna say now you're gonna give me some grief now okay well the animal he's made me angry he's made this animal angry so i'm gonna go for this opening again Actually, the last time I played it, it didn't work very well, did it? I don't know. Let's, let's just go H4. Okay, I want to I wanna teach this animal a lesson. And what? Let's just put the bishop here. Play some weird moves. I'm, I've li I'll leave the chat up here in case we get some more funny chat from someone, where, whoever it may be. Okay, so that's a, 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 actually not a, not a stupid move because he's trying to put his bishop here and control E4. Um, on the other hand, my long-term plan will be probably to push with e4, but I need to prepare this move first. So I'm just going to keep quite a solid formation for now. Ideas are going bishop d3 and e4. Now this looks like it could be a target for me to attack later on. I don't really get that move g6. Why? Why? Why did he play g6? It seems like a peculiar move to me. Just want to wait and see where his king's going to go because I'm really hoping he is going to go that way. Now, a normal move, his queen is now a target to knight c4, so I hit this pawn. And with the idea 
if he ever moves this, I have the c4 pawn. Okay, and now I have to play my, my main break here, e4. This is, this is obviously a move that I want to play. And, okay, the animal. Let's probe the animal over there, shall we? Let's probe him where the sun don't shine. So queen c6, lining up against this. Okay, I'm going to take this one. See what he captures with, because I have the e5 square for my pieces. Where does my king want to go? Do I really? Oh, right. Well, let's do it. You've got to be brave in this game. It has ideas of d5. My other idea would be rook e1, bishop e4. Okay, so he's going to try to come over here. Let's play it. Let's see what happens. Let's go for the most complicated line. I want to show this guy. I want to teach this guy a lesson. You know, he thinks he's the animal. Oh, sorry, I've probably said this enough now. Okay, <laughs> let's go for it. So let's do this. Incredibly complex position because my king, I have to say, is not the happiest chappy in the world. Now, how do we break on through to the other side? Can I go here threatening that one? But then he's going to put rookie eight. I have to play quickly. This is a key, key moment. Do, 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 have knight, a lot of, lot of tempters. Even this move is very sensible. It's going to take here, check here, taking here. He's got, he's got this move lined up. Um, let's, let's, let's put this one in because this bishop's a very dangerous piece. And at least this way I get rid of his attacking, well, I try to get rid of his attacking piece. And now I could come here or I could just swap off, but... I want to show this guy who the animal is. So I'm going straight for his king. No queen exchanges. Thank you very much. We want the queens on the board. We don't. We want it queens on the board, animal. And of course, I'm just trying to home in on this g6 pawn because he made this weakening move earlier on. Um, he's weakened himself like this. Um, so we will see. Okay, he's come here. I expected this one. I'm going to take this one because I have rook d7 coming in and rook d7 is certainly the move that I'm going to put in his pipe he has to go king f6 otherwise his position will be deteriorating very quickly and well I could take here takes takes here should be should be so strong should be a win here bishop g5 check Animal, animal. Who is the animal? 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 Who animal? Who animal? Who animal? Who, who, who? Are you the animal or am I the animal? Who is the animal? Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Well, I thank you, Animal. I think um, I have proved my point there. Um, I think that will do me nicely. I think I will actually end on a high rather than a low. It's always nice to finish on a high. And one lesson to be learnt there, don't make this ginger angry. You make me angry, the animal comes out. Don't make me angry. And it's funny how he's gone. It's funny how he's gone. Oh, he's, he wants to play chess now, does he? Um, you know what, I don't normally do this, but uh, thank you. Thank you for the games. Thank you for the games. Who is the animal? I'm the animal. There we go. And you know what? I'm going to leave it at that. Because he started this, I'm finishing it. Goodbye, please like, please subscribe. Until next time, goodbye. Goodbye for now. Cheers. Okay, bye.